They're like little swords that they give you. You talking mess about me? About me? I didn't think so. Quite dangerous, actually. La 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 oh oh oh. La 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 oh oh oh. La da da da. Making our Christmas memory. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then please make sure that you subscribe, add me on Instagram, so that way you can be a part of videos like this in the future. As you saw from the title, this is an assumptions video. So I asked you guys on Instagram to go ahead and send in either through DM or through the little icon that I had posted on my stories to send me some assumptions about me. So I went ahead, I got those assumptions, and I'm going to read them off to you guys and answer them here on YouTube. Uh, but before we get started, this is all in the name of fun, so it's okay. No one's getting hurt. My feelings are fine. So whatever was said, if you're watching this, it's okay. We're all good. Um, but with that noted, you all know what happens when you make assumptions about somebody, right? It makes a out of... Okay, let's move on. Um, all right, let's get down to the first question. No particular order. First one says, despite trials, you give yourself strength. You may cry to let it out, but then compose yourself. Um, I guess I have to agree with that. This year has very much sent me many trials and I've had to use my strength to get through them. I do cry, it's just I tend to do it alone in the comfort of my room because as you know I have kids and I just don't want them to see me sad because I don't want them to be sad so it's kind of how it goes if you're a mom you get it next um you seem pretty easy going really <laughs> you think nah um I have my moments you know if you ask anybody that actually knows me in real life I can be easygoing. I kind of roll with the punches, roll with the flow, but I'm Latina, so I have my moments when it's my way or the highway type of thing. You know, it's just, it's just how we are. It's how we roll. But again, you're you're kind of there, yeah. It's kind of right. But I think honestly, I think we all have like that easygoing about us. You know, we kind of. I think everyone in the world kind of rolls with things. Even if you don't want to be in that situation or or doing what you're doing, you just kind of roll with it. So kind of works. Also, I asked you guys um, if you wanted to stay anonymous and or if you wanted to be public and nobody said that it was okay to make it public. So I've kept everyone anonymous. So it's fine. But if you're watching this video and you're the one and you sent in one of these assumptions, then please comment below because I love to see comments from you guys. So I am all for it. All right, moving on. You strike me as someone who is very hard on themselves. Man, are you like stalking me? That is definitely me. That is a thousand percent me I am super hard on myself I think with everything I've done in life from like yay high till now I'm still yay high but anyway <laughs> I think I have been extremely hard on myself and um I think the main reason for that is because I hate disappointing people and that just that's what pushes me that's what makes me work harder to accomplish whatever goal I have or just anything that's in front of me, whatever task is in front of me, I just, yeah, I'm very hard on myself. So if I don't get it done, if I, if I don't get it done, then I'm very hard on myself. Um, so yeah, I mean, but you know what? I think that's also a great thing as well. Some people can take it as a negative, but I take it as a very as a positive. So thank you for saying that. It's noticeable. Um, yeah, I think it's a very good thing for me anyway because it just pushes me 
to get things done to be better than I was yesterday, so. You love to cook. Where did you get that information from? <laughs> no, seriously. Um, I, I hate cooking. I hate cooking. Um, I cook a lot, though. I do cook, and my family loves my cooking, and I'm damn good at it. But, no, I hate cooking. Baking, I kind of enjoy doing, but I just, I can't stand cooking. I don't know why. I just, ugh. And it's sad, too, because I'm so good at it. I'm just so good at it. <laughs> but no, um, that would have to be wrong. That is a negative assumption. Um, you're a dog lover. Uh, I mean, hello, Avi. Yes, I love dogs. If you didn't notice that, then you blind. I love dogs. Dogs are my favorite animal in the whole wide world. Um, I used to, fun note, uh, I used to be a dog breeder. Some might hate it, some might love it. I know that a lot of people say, adopt, don't shop. I personally um, enjoyed breeding when I did do it because it, to me, was safer. Um, I knew what I was doing. I had studied. I had, I had read up on everything I needed to do. And my dog was 100% in my care. And the puppies were. And I knew that the puppy I was providing a family was going, first of all, I made sure that it was going to a good home, but I also, I knew that they was coming from a good home. So the puppy was healthy and so on and so forth. I actually only stopped doing it because my Shih Tzu, the one who passed recently, um, she had such a hard labor, the last batch that she had, and it, it became really hard on me. You know, she was my baby. And then for, for her to have lost a baby at birth, it was very emotional, very hard, so I just kind of said enough is enough, so. Did we already answer this? Are you, you're super outgoing? I don't think we answered this. You're super outgoing. If we did, then I'm going to have to cut this out of the video. I don't think we answered this, though. You are super outgoing. Um, I think my personality radiates that, but I'm not... So I'm actually more of a hermit than anything. Like, I, I'm one of those people that would love to just stay indoors and just have nice, like a, a nice chill Netflix and chill type of vibe. Whether it be with my sister, a friend, husband, whatever. I like, I'm just one of those girls. But, um, I do like going out. I'm not gonna say I don't. But if it was like an option of going out, getting dressed up to do something, or just chilling at home. Nine times out of ten, it's going to be me at home. I think you are a strong person, and I admire how you have handled the difficulties thrown at you this year. Wow. First off, thank you for being so in tune with my life on Instagram, on YouTube, um, because that just tells me that you're paying attention to the things that are going on in my life. And thank you. I think I... This kind of goes with the question before, but, um, you know, I'm strong because I have to be. Uh, I have to be for my kids and my family, and so I think that's where it comes from. I've dealt with a lot in my life since a very young age, and I've learned to just push through, be strong from, you know, I, just to be strong and push through everything, and um, yeah, I think just because I've learned it from a, such, a, such a young age, I also had to grow up a lot faster than I should have. So I think that's where I get that from. Um, is it easy being strong all the time? Absolutely not. I, I fall weak many times, but I don't like to show it. So, so yeah, again, thank you, but um, I'm glad you admire me. Thank you so much for that. Wow. No. I, I did not read these before actually coming on here, so. Okay, next one. You act strong, but really you aren't. Um, I guess this kind of goes with the two questions before. Yeah, you're right, I'm, I'm really not. I, I do act strong because I have to. So, 
Um, I wouldn't say it's an act. It's I have to push myself. I have to be strong for my family, for for life in general. You can't stay in that dark hole forever. So, so yeah, you're not 100% wrong. Um, this next one. You have never smoked. Smoked what? <laughs> um, I don't smoke cigarettes. I have, I, well, I take that back. I did try a cigarette when I was a very, very young in my teens and it was absolutely disgusting and I never touched one after that. However, I did experiment with other smoking types of things. I'm going to put it that way because I don't know how you can do it on, on YouTube, you know what I mean, without, <laughs> without getting in trouble. So let's just put it that way. But I did experiment with some smoking things um, in my early 20s. So there's that. Moving on. Um, I assume you are a what? What is a spicy foot fanatic? Oh, I'm assuming you mean food fanatic. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious, you guys. Literally, like, a foot. Foot. Okay. Sorry, whoever sent that in, that was hilarious. Thank you, you gave me a... You made my day. Um, <laughs> I am not a spicy foot fanatic. <laughs> Oh, I'm just kidding. Um, I do. I love spicy food. Oh my gosh. I, you got it. You pinpointed it right on the money. I love spicy food. I, anybody can tell you. I put spicy peppers, hot sauce, jalapenos, whatever it is on basically everything I eat. If I could put it on cereal, I probably would. But yes, I absolutely love spicy food. That's probably where my really bad GERD comes from. But... I love it. I guess I'll just live on Nexium for the rest of my life. What can you do? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> You're pregnant again. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was funny, though. Absolutely not. I am not pregnant again, but if there is something that you know that I don't, let a sister know. Message me. DM me. Let me know. <laughs> but no, I'm not pregnant again. Uh, next one. Ooh. Okay. I see you. Okay. You are kind of shy and possibly a bit insecure. Ouch. Burn. But so true. Like I said, you guys, I'm it's it's okay. Like I'm I'm not I'm not butthurt about it. We're gonna say it like that. Um, it's all good. I am. Uh when I first meet somebody, I am kinda shy. Uh in an awkward situation or an unknown territory, I can be shy. Once I am accustomed to get used to my surroundings and the atmosphere or whatever is being brought up in front of me, then you know, I get comfortable and my shyness goes away out the window and I'm like just a nutcase, you know. I'm pretty crazy. My personality is like that, but it takes a minute. Um, and possibly a bit insecure. I'm a lot insecure <laughs> and honestly it's funny that you would even say that I'm I'm actually glad that you pointed that out because um quite a few people quite a few people actually believe I'm very confident and I am far from confident but honestly if you have followed me through my journey on Instagram and here on YouTube then you're probably very much familiar with the fact that uh three to four years ago, I was about 100 pounds heavier. So <clears throat> when you live your whole life overweight, and I mean from a young age, I started gaining weight from nine years old and on. And unfortunately, um, 
you know, when I was younger, it, it had a lot to do with just the fact that I was eating the wrong things and not working out. You know, you're a kid, you're having your fun. But into my teens, I found out I had, I was diagnosed with PCOS and that really affected my metabolism and my hormones. And, um, and so my weight just skyrocketed. And unfortunately, you know, weight changes you. It, it makes you very insecure. It makes you uncomfortable around people that you should be comfortable around, especially when they make the comments like, hmm, you're getting kind of chubby there, you know, or maybe you should think about losing weight. So, I mean, maybe people were raised in a different atmosphere, but um, yeah, unfortunately, I was insecure for a really long time because of that. And even having lost weight, it doesn't change that mental state that you were always in. So yeah, I guess the chubby girl is still inside of me in my brain and I'm still very insecure. I don't care if I dress up nice and wear the makeup and the lashes and, um, and have a million people telling me I look great. If I'm not confident myself, my insecurity is always going to be there. So, so yeah, you got that. You're, you're right. That is an assumption that is quite correct, my dear. All right, you guys, we are down to the last one. Let me go ahead and uh, put some chapstick on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is perfect for last one. Um, you are a badass bish with a self-confidence to match. I adore you. Thank you for saying that. However, I think it's just my, again, my personality that radiates that because I... Like I stated before, I'm very insecure. So um, the badass bitch that you see in front of you is, um, you know, lacks confidence at times. So thank you, though. Thank you for seeing me as a self-confident bitch. Okay? <laughs> I love you guys. You guys are great. This was fun. Uh, this was a first assumptions video of first try and it went swimmingly you guys are amazing i love you guys i love my instagram family i love my youtube family if you're not following me on instagram follow me so that you can join in next time right here join in and uh and so that we you can be a part of my next video and if you want to be acknowledged on the video and what your assumption was about me then comment it dm me about it and i will more, I'll be more than happy to share that. I don't care. But for confidentiality reasons and because nobody stated so, I left it blank. And yeah, so this was all in good fun. I hope you guys are having fun with Vlogmas so far. I love you guys. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube because there are going to be such amazing, fun, awesome videos coming up. So I would love for you to join the family. All right, you guys, so this is great. Um, until next time, I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mm, these are juicy. Can I finish my coffee now? That was intense. That was some intense stuff. I'm bored. That's a wrap! Cut! You can go now. Thanks. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making up Christmas memories.